Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Bacon Wrap Double Dogs. That's right, we are building a better bacon dog by using two smaller hot dogs instead of one larger one, which we will merge together using the latest cutting edge bacon binding technology. And for reasons we'll review later, this really was superior. And great news for people like me, who are just not comfortable putting two separate hot dogs on one bun. It just seems unnatural, and I find it disconcerting. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. And for this technique, you're going to need two small regular size hot dogs, which are about two ounces each. And then we're also going to need two strips of preferably center cut bacon. And we really do want the regular thin cut style and not that extra expensive fancy thick cut bacon, which is nice with eggs and home fries. But for this, the thinner, cheaper stuff is better. And to create this, we will take hot dog number one and place it on the top edge of our first strip of bacon. And we'll give that a little roll to secure the piece. At which point we will place on hot dog number two. And then take our bacon and wrap it around at a little bit of an angle like this. And if everything goes according to plan, we should have just enough excess when we get back to the top to fit down in between those two dogs, which we will secure using the old spread and tuck. And at this point we should have half our double dog covered. And then to finish this, we'll take our second piece of bacon, which by the way should be really cold, so it's easier to handle. Okay, mine was kind of warm and flimsy, which makes it a little harder to control. But anyway, what we'll do is tuck that end in right where we left off, and then continue wrapping around. And again, once we get to the end, we should have just enough to tuck in between those two links. And that's it, a perfectly secure, aesthetically pleasing, bacon wrap double dog. Okay, so let me show that one more time for the people that don't like to rewind video. And in case you're wondering why is it better to wrap two smaller hot dogs instead of just doing one four ounce hot dog? Well, there's actually a couple very good reasons. And the first one is I find the bacon stays on a lot better using two hot dogs versus trying to wrap two strips of bacon around one larger dog, since there's really not a good place to tuck in the ends. And then people end up using toothpicks, which not only makes the hot dog harder to turn, I just think the toothpicks sticking out of a hot dog are a bad look. But the other much more important reason is that it's a proven scientific fact that round things do not brown up and crisp up as well as flat things in a pan. Okay, so by wrapping up two smaller hot dogs like this, we are creating a lot more flat surface area to come in contact with our pan or grill, which really is the major advantage of this technique. Oh, and I should mention if you're really into bacon, you can actually fit three strips on these if you want. Although you do get more overlapping, which means you're gonna have to cook it a little longer to give that extra fat time to render out. So personally, I think two strips is ideal, but you decide. I mean, you are after all the Betty Page of this bacon binding stage. But either way, once those are wrapped, we can go ahead and cook those up in a nonstick pan set over medium heat. And you can just use a dry pan for this. All right, that little bit of fat you saw in the pan was from an earlier test. And then from here, you could probably figure out the rest of the procedure. We are simply gonna cook these on both sides until that bacon with which these are bound browns up beautifully. And I'm just making two, but the more you fit in the pan, the better. And that's simply because you're gonna end up with more fat in the pan, which is gonna help everything brown and crisp up even better. Oh, and when I said cook on both sides, I should have actually said on all four sides, because we do wanna to try to brown those edges as well, which I do just by leaning one up against the other. And if you're really good, you could probably lean both up at once. But anyway, the point is we're gonna to try to brown these all over, which reminds me, you can if you wanna do these outside on the grill, although I do recommend using indirect heat. All right, dripping bacon grease directly down on your coals can cause a big fire, and your bacon wrap double dogs will get charred black, and the people at your cookout will not be impressed. Except for, of course, that one person who says they like it that way. All right, there's one of those people at every cookout. You know who you are. Or if you want to make things a little safer, you could actually cook them halfway in a pan, where you will have a lot of the fat already rendered out, and then let them cool, and then bring them to the cookout like that, and then when you're ready to serve, you could just finish browning them up on the grill. So that would work too. But anyway, no matter what method you use to cook these, make sure you are very happy with the browning of the bacon before you serve these up. All right, not sorta happy, like absolutely thrilled, which at this point I was. So I went ahead and served that up in a very well mustarded bun. And yes, I did use a slightly larger hot dog bun, which was actually sold as a sausage roll. And then the official toppings for a bacon wrap double dog are some pickle relish, and not sweet pickle relish, dill pickle relish. All right, we're gonna get enough sweetness from the bacon. And then we'll also do some diced red onion. And then last but not least, some diced tomato. And that's it. Our bacon wrap double dog is bacon wrap double done. 
And that, my friends, was one of the best hot dog eating experiences in recent memory. Just absolutely everything I was hoping for. And because of all that extra previously discussed surface area, and the fact that I really took my time browning this in the pan, that bacon was perfectly cooked, and most of that fat had rendered out, and there was absolutely no flabbiness involved. And by the way, I am not a big hot dog toppings guy. All right, I usually just go with mustard. But because we're enjoying two dogs, wrapped in that rich, smoky bacon, the pickle, onion, and tomato really do work incredibly well. Oh, and I don't know about you, but other than maybe potato chips, I think a nice potato salad is the ultimate hot dog side dish. And of course, we have at least a half dozen very nice recipes for that on the channel. But anyway, that's it. What we're calling bacon wrap double dogs. No matter what you serve these with, I think these would make a beautiful change of pace to the regular old hot dog. And whether you enjoy these inside, or in the backyard, or tailgating before a baseball or football game, remember those? But anyway, no matter where you enjoy these, I really do hope you give them a try soon. So please follow the links below for the ingredient amounts, a printable written recipe, and much more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.